Hey everyone, it's Grandma Scratcher here in Florida. Happy Friday today. As usual, I'm knocking stuff around. Today, the Florida Lottery scratch off ticket I've got is the Million Dollar Year for Life Spectacular. We're on a quest for a claimer. It's day number 12, gosh darn it. No claimer yet, but it's okay. There's always hope as long as we got a ticket. But before we start scratching, you know I've got to tell you this is just for fun and entertainment purposes. I don't sell tickets. Underage gambling is illegal. And if you have a gambling addiction, please seek some help. I got to tell you though, it was so funny. Um, I posted a video, I don't know which social media it was. I don't think it was here on YouTube, but it's funny because because nobody ever comments on how crappy my editing is because I'm like right there for it. I'm like, yeah, I do not edit this. I'm sorry. I only do it when I have to because I'm just so terrible at it. And somebody actually commented and tagged somebody else. Look at how horrible this lady's editing is. And I was just like laughing because dude, yeah, that's what you get with this channel. There is, that's where I am. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not an editing maniac. It's terrible. I do it if I have to and whatever, but you'll notice the bell is in the front. The bell is here because I'm thinking maybe, maybe we need to bring the juju. Like maybe, maybe I need to just warm the bell up, get the bell ready. For those of you that like even numbers, that was four rings. You're welcome. <laughs> But maybe the bell is like, you know, we really need to see a little more action. We need more cowbell. I don't know. Um, but I thought maybe we'll just start with the bell. Maybe that will bring the magical juju to the ticket. I don't know. But here we go. What do we got? I got to take the stupid post-it off the back. My husband writes post-it and puts it on the back so I know where the ticket came from. Because like I told you, he, he drives a truck and he's all over the place. And, and I need help getting tickets from all over the place because I don't really like to leave the house. And there's not that many tickets available in my house. So there's that. All right. So it's one $50 million a year for life. Spectacular. And some lady did win, I guess, the other day. She won a million dollars. And of course, some of you all messaged me and said, is it you? And it, it, it was not me, dears. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still looking for the claimer. Maybe this one's it. It's ticket number seven. Overall odds on the ticket, one in every four and a half tickets. And um, I'm not playing a book. These really are tickets from different places. If you are a conspiracy theorist and you don't believe me, you can always just match the codes up. See this code right here? The code indicates what book they came from. And trust me, all of these are different. If they're the same, you need to let me know because I need to find out what kind of what kind of portal they've opened. Maybe it's like the Miami portal. Did you guys see that stuff? Oh my God. TikTok is not a good place for me. I get lost and then I get upset. And, and TikTok, like my daughters will send me a link of a cute koala and I click the TikTok link and I watch the koala and then the very next, then I click the whole page like, death and destruction coming now. And I'm like, oh my God, what? No, I am on the wrong side of TikTok. My TikTok needs to be reset, but I don't know how. All right, so we've got the ticket. And in case you haven't been watching, um, what we need to do is match these numbers to these numbers, find a multiplier down here, match this number to these numbers or this number to these numbers. Just those things will get us a win. Um, a claimer for some people who ask, it's funny because I use terms, I don't think I use a lot of scratcher terms, <laughs> but apparently I do. Um, a claimer is any ticket over 600. Any ticket up to 600, you can claim anywhere where they sell tickets and where they'll cash you out. Cause like you can't walk in with like a $600 winner to 7-Eleven. Most of the times be like, yeah, we're, we're not gonna give you that. You need to go somewhere else. And then you go to Publix. <laughs> but anything 600 and over, you need to go to a district office. And then there's even a limit to that, um, to where a certain amount, then you have to take it to the state office. Um, you can't just cash it anywhere. So a claimer is a ticket over 600 somewhere where you have to go and claim it and pay the, pay the man the taxes on it and where they do like a background check and see if you owe the state any money or the government any money because they ain't giving you your money till they get their money, baby. You know how that is. All right, let's see what we've got on this ticket. We did not do very well treasure hunting yesterday, so we'll do this. 46, 7, 43, 61, 4, 63, 65, 42, 3 and 26. That is a interesting set of numbers. Lots of fours and sixes. Yesterday we had a lot of threes. So, all right, we'll see what, what the floor lottery has for us. So we've got single digits, three and seven, three, four and seven. I don't see any teens. I've got a 26. There's no 30s. We've got 42, 43, 46, no 50s, and we've got 61, 63, 65. So no 30s, 50s, or teens. 
Hmm. All right, we'll see how it goes. 13. <laughs> 57, really? 17. <laughs> 27, we've got neighbor 26. 18, oh, Florida Lottery, you just you kill me. It's like a bad breakup every day with you. It's like he's on again, off again, on again, off again. 19, two, we've got three, four, and seven neighbors. 22, 48, I've got 42, 43, and 46. 27, I mean 23, good grief. It looked like a 27 for some reason. All right, and again, uh, we've got 23, we've got 26, 20, 26. No, what was it? Teens, 30s, and 50s. Looking for 40s and 60s, please. 40s and 60s is what we want. 29, 25, neighbor, 16, 1, uh, and 8, another neighbor. Good grief, Florida Lottery. 15. 38, I'm telling you what, 59, 45, what do we got? We got 42, 43, and 46, it's a neighbor, 60, and I've got 61, 63, and 65, so it's another neighbor, 44, another neighbor, 58, 32, 56, 37, really? Like, really? 34, 12, 53, 36, 54. Well, they're trying to make it easy for me, I guess. Unbelievable. 51, 41. What do we got? We got neighbor 42, 43, 46. 64. Aw, 46, 64. Do we have 64? 61, neighbor 63, and neighbor 65. 21. And a 24, so nothing down below. Bub cuts again, but we still have the bonus. So now the bonus, we're trying to match to any of these numbers down here. 31, we've got flippity flop 13 right off the bat. 38, neighbor 32, 37, 34, 36. Of course, we've got 21, 41, and 51 but no 31. Ugh, I will do the double all winnings just because people are like, you didn't scratch off the last box. And that number, sorry, that number would need to match a number here to get a double of whatever prize down here, but there was no prize down here, so there's, there's no 55 up there. All right, once again, they've given me a big handful of nothing, 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 but it's okay, because every day is a new adventure here on the channel. You know that it's our quest. I feel like we need t-shirts. Claimer quest, I don't know, like vision quest. All of the popular quests, now then we can become like, what is it, an LLORP, LMNOP, you know, the big Morp online massive player game thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's always fun though. It's always fun hanging out with you guys, doing a ticket, chatting, shooting the breeze. I appreciate you. If you like the video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment, do all the things. They're free to do, they help the channel out, and I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate you all. But before we go, you know we've gotta do it. We gotta come up with something good in the neighborhood, something that we can focus on, even if it's just a teeny tiny thing. And today, my good thing is Totino's Pizzas. They have been around forever, forever. I mean, since I was a kid, they used to be around. Then I remember I protested when they went, they turned them square, I wasn't a fan of that. I don't why I don't know why but I wasn't really happy when they made the Totino's round pizza square and now they don't even come in a box they come in like a plastic bag and the world's changing I feel like it's that scene from Dirty Dancing where the the old guy's talking to the young guy and he's like the world's changing mm, it is it is but Totino's are a cheap easy dinner it used to be though that I'd be like, well, I don't know. Totino's are like a buck a piece and I need this many and maybe we should just go buy like two pizzas at Little Caesars. But now Little Caesars is further away and their price has gone up. And of course, Totino's prices have gone up too, but I still come on ahead when I do the Totino's pizzas. And then everybody gets around and there's no squabbling and all that stuff. So yeah, cheap, easy dinners, Totino's it is. And I know there's like cheaper pizzas, but Totino's is probably the cheapest pizza that I enjoy. There are other pizzas. If you wanted pizza and you did, 
And there's ways to make pizza cheap, like on English muffins and on tortillas and on French bread. There are, yeah, but Totino's is where it's at for us. So that's my good thing for the day because we got to focus on the good stuff because what we focus on multiplies and we could all use a little more good in the world. The bell, the, the bell did not do its job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire him. I don't know. We need more from you, sir. More. I'll have to talk to him later. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.